Yeah, I've got fabulous um, memories and I think being a part of all those teams does really make you want to be an athlete forever. Uh, but there becomes a time where you have to stop playing with the uniforms and um, dip your toes in, um, in something else. And I'm excited for A, the fact I've got my original knees. <laughs> Um, and B, I still have the body that's willing to do a bit of mahi to try something else. So great learnings, absolutely, in all the leagues that I've been so fortunate to play in. Yeah, it feels like a lifetime ago, but at the same time, it feels like it's gone really quickly. My time in Magic is definitely, I've got very, very fond memories. I feel like throughout my journey, I've been able to play with some of the best players um, of our era and the one before, those experiences and memories will last forever. I can't even tell you the wins or losses that we had, but you can remember those memories. I never in a million years thought I'd ever be able to be involved in teams over in Australia. I always wondered what it would be like and how I would measure up coming across here. And it was a real dream come true to get picked up by the Swifts in 2016. And I had a fabulous year with the Swifts. You kind of become addicted to learning, like, and that was essentially my motivation for putting my feelers out to Australia. I wanted to be the best player I could be, uh, and I wanted the challenge of having been around for a while, but then I was going into a very established team at which I was going to be the rookie. And that was a real eye-opening experience for me. Because um, you do forget, when you've been around a while, you forget what it feels like to not just know some information about teams. 2017, I think for ourselves and the Giants and Collingwood, those players um, got to experience something that not many players will ever have a chance to be involved in a foundation team. Lightning in particular, I was hugely excited when Noel's got the head job because I think in any successful organisation, foundation is key in terms of um, you're setting the standards. There's so many intangible, this is how we do things, um, that it's established. But it was the foundation for how we were going to operate as a club going forward. And you could not have asked for a better leadership person than Knowles. So from a playing perspective, I probably couldn't put my hand up fast enough to come across. But the team that she was able to pull together how she made us bond together and the style of game or the identity that we developed, I think will always hold this club in really good stead. It just gave the club really good bones to go forth with. And it, people is one of our key values and I think um, you can't ask for a more promising, stable foundation than the one I think Lightning was given by the people that um, became involved in 2017. Yeah, the last two years were a real gift. I never saw it coming and in 2017 I had finished up and I felt really comfortable with where I'd got to. I'd started playing underneath Knowles. I was able to see how I measured up playing in the Australian League and I got to finish with Knowles. So for me, I was very content and I, although it took a while for my head to catch up with my, uh, my heart to catch up with my head. I was in a really good place and I had a fabulous year in 2018 doing nothing related to netball but club netball. Um, and I think it, it was a real nice taste of life's not so bad on the other side. So when I kind of went back into the Ferns fold, the team was very different. The environment was very different from where I left it. Uh, and I was very different and it, w it was kind of cool because we were all kind of growing together but kind of growing separately in our own journeys and I think what was really special about that moment in time was I was reunited with players I hadn't played with for a long time but um, muscle memory is real I reckon um, and like nearly spiritual memory is real but you, you in team sport you make these bonds that you can't really describe them so like, I kind of knew where Case was at and I know Case knew where I was at and the same with Maria. And you kind of, it's not becoming comfortable but you have an inner strength to know that you can be vulnerable in front of them and they don't see it as a weakness. 
And I think that's what was special about that year, particularly in the ferns, where we all kind of had come from a different journey and grew in different ways, but we, we just knew. We just knew where each other was at. But ultimately, yeah, the teams are what makes it special and um, that's the real success, I think. These last two years have been really special. Obviously 2019, for obvious reasons, that was a real fairy tale. And I think 2020 was the added bonus. 2021, although I flirted with the idea for a while, um, that was just getting cheeky. <laughs> I think in the year off, it gave me like a, you know, it's not so bad. But then as soon as you get back into it, it's so great being involved in a team like Lightning and a team like the Ferns that you do want to keep playing forever. So it's probably just as hard this time. The people are just the best. And game day is the best day of the week, so I'm going to have to replace it with something. <laughs> yeah.